Actresses, actresses, and this afternoon, I think we're going to be talking about a wonderful and great photographer, mm -hmm. a brother of ours, and that's why Myra Ngong just joined us on the set to tell us about this uh, wonderful guy. I would say that he is an image hunter. Hello, Myra. Hi, Gwen. You're welcome, as always. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon to you. Ruth. Nice to meet you. You sing so well, beautifully well. Thank you. What? Uh, what have I said? I'm smiling now because it's true. You're confirming the fact that she no, just she has a wonderful like, voice. like really well, and like like I had goosebumps all oh. over, and I was like, "Is that is that for real?" So you understand now you why know? I'm so worried about Ruth Angel. Yes, with, 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 with a hoarse voice. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't there, please. I, I know, right? Anything. Yes. Do you, do you mind if I ask her a question? No, go ahead. Why not? Ruth, do you watch Cameroon movies? Yes. You know any? Um, uh, I don't know their titles. Yeah. But yes, I do. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you recall the name of any actor? Uh, you have any favorite? Uh, Cindy and Made, I watched the movie with Cindy and Made. Inside. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you loved it. Yeah. All right. Let's just see that maybe um, some of them should start thinking, like looking towards her direction for soundtracks, because I think okay. her voice will be amazing <laughs> behind some of these movies, like for real. Mm -hmm. You said we're talking today about the Image Hunter. All right. Um, yes. He's called uh, Wang Keng Musi. Let me take you to another person so you get to know mm -hmm. them more and more every day. Okay, Wang Keng Musi, but he goes by the name Musi A lot of people call him Musi Nash. And this is somebody that has been in the art industry since 1995. And his artistic prowess can, you know, enable us to best describe him as a filmmaker, a cinematographer, a photojournalist, a film scholar, a film critic as well, and why not an audiovisual consultant? Like the different facets are just a way for him to shape and work towards perfection as far as his art is concerned. And he's done that relentlessly, tirelessly, with a lot of passion over the years. And then people might be asking, has he had any releases for the past years? No, not really, because the last 10 years, he spent them being a juror for about six festivals, you know, internationally and right back at home. He has you know, given his expertise at the Dallas International Film Festival at Arif, Tav, Cape Town, a crown noir that happens right here at home, Fespaco, our next door neighbors, and of course, Ratu. You cannot talk about somebody like Musinaj without mentioning the awards. He's backed so many already. But the difference here is his dexterity and his flexibility, both in photography and film, makes it even more better. He won Best Feature Film at the Abuja International Festival in 2006. In 2013, he was Best Cinematographer at Dama Awards. That happens right here in Cameroon. The same year, internationally, he won Best Short Film at Zafa Awards in the UK. I cannot forget 2010 it was a big break for musinaj when um in the uk he was announced at the, as the honor bursary photographer of the year this is like a very prestigious award internationally for best photographers around the world and guess what he brought it home in 2010 and uh, he has been three times best photographer at the cameroon national festival of arts and culture right here like that's that that's somebody that does a lot and we really really need to give it up for him he won best original soundtrack at TAF in 2016. Musi maybe you should be looking at Ruth today on the program and trying to see if she can do the rest of your soundtracks eh can I just get you more of those awards I think so and I believe so as well don't you think so too Ruth don't you think so <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay um uh internationally as well he was also the runner-up at the Democracy Video Challenge in the UK. Now, this guy has a very big back. And you cannot talk about Musinaj without mentioning some of his very prolific works. And one of them, which I really remember, was Tomorrow's Millionaire in 2005. That came out in, in 1995, I beg your pardon, but I think I got to know it um, maybe about 10 years later. Whoa. He also <laughs> did, yeah. 1995, I was in class five in primary school. Where were you? 
please don't ask me. Let's just talk about the movie. <laughs> yeah. Because I said I learned about the movie ten years later. You were like, <laughs> yeah. Because you you know why? In ninety five, you're in class five in primary school, and at the time, if I remember very well, we were running more into cinema houses that were broadcasting um, foreign films. Okay. The Chuck Norris at the time, yes. the Jet Li's. Those are the people that were really on screen at the time. Mara, so, are you struggling to tell us that you were going to the cinema? So the, uh, uh, I'm not we saying I were. Okay, okay. You I mean said, we, we like in general. Okay, exactly. I, understand, I understand. learned about this film <laughs> many years later because yeah. at that point in time, nobody was really interested. So you needed to be really, really bold yes. to be able to get up and venture into cinema at that time. And he did That's in 1995. True. That's a long time ago. Very. Voila. So he also has um, Evil Reward that came out in 2004. Grains of Honesty saw daylight in 2006. Democracy is a culture that came out in 2010. Lost Ego in 2011 and On the Brim in 2013. There's also Nkabza 2015 and Vain Glory in 2016. Like it's really interesting. There is no way you can have all of these without get into the different stratas yeah in the artistic industry musi nash as well once upon a time was an actor just that he's decided to trade that the front camera to step behind and do better he featured in a couple of them uh zingraf and the battle of mancon this is also a great production from mm -hmm. musi very, very popular and crtv also aired that a lot mm -hmm. really interesting the costume work was amazing i hope we can just have that back like cameron is really talented we're doing amazing things the very, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not for this story of support your own because I feel like it ends on social media. Everybody support your own and then we end up not doing nothing. And you all sit on social media and you drag CRTV by every hair that we have saying that we're not promoting you. But hey, guess what? I went online and I'm trying to do this work to profile all of you guys. But guess what I found out? You people don't document yourself. You do not. The people in this art industry do not document yourself. You Google a name. The best thing I can see probably is just a movie title or something. And then a few lines. And that's about it. So you cannot blame us. Put yourself out there. I don't know who you can Google probably in the US or in Nigeria next door. When I use Nigeria, you all will get mad. But I will use it because they're just like, we just a step from us, right? And if you Google one name, you see everything that person has ever done. What's stopping you? You, this Cameroonian actor, producer, and all the like, it's not enough to have one movie that puts you out there and you think you're already a star or whatever. You Google up the meaning of celebrity and you realize that a lot of you, mm -hmm. <laughs> let, me not, let, let me not bring trouble, but let me just tell you that Musi has about 40 documentaries to his credit up to today. Gwen, do I still have time or you want me to go already? I still um, have to. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have much time. You don't have much time. All Let's right. say we are on the TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me round off quickly. He has also done a lot as far as consulting is concerned. He's founding member of AFC. That's the Cameroon Film Consortium. And he chaired the Constitutional Committee of the Mokolo Initiative. He is presently serving as the national president of the CF, of the producer of Producers Guild of the CFI, that's the Cameroonian film industry. You cannot mention the genesis of the Cameroon film industry without giving his own share, his own credit. Because, listen, I said this guy put out something since 1995. So he is part of the culture. He's part of the train. Don't fight out there. I know how it will go down on social media. Oh, Myra said, CRTV said, <laughs> Musi Nash founded the Cameroon film industry. He has shares, you know, put some respect on that name because he deserves it okay presently he is ceo of his production house i wouldn't be calling that because i don't have money to give to same say okay <laughs> but he tells me that one of his best days as far as his career is concerned is when he was knighted by the head of state Aww. as a knight of the national order of merit for his 26 years in promoting and total devotion towards arts now that's really Maybe wonderful. So you see that people are not just knighted because they're administrators or military men and all of that, but you can still, it just depends on how you do, what you do and how you do it. So you see that Musi is, is great at what he does and he was knighted thanks to it. But there's something amongst the pictures that were rolling. Yeah. I saw a picture of Musi and Auntie Nene. Yes. Oh, the good old days of hello. Oh, that, that's like 15 years ago. Jeez. And he 
said that he really wanted that picture because he said he wanted to really say thank you to CRTV particularly because we're <clears> one of those people. <throat> Remember, we used to travel right to where they were in the Northwest and in the Southwest. Yeah, I think that was the first time I ever traveled to the Northwest. That was in 2013. Yes. Yeah, I was an intern then and I discovered Northwest and most especially Upstation. <laughs> because I'd heard so much about it and that was the first time I was seeing it. Yes, amazingly. So listen, I'll have to sign out. But let me tell you something. I am not an expert in this your film uh, industry thing. But what I will tell you is as an actor, as an actress or as an active person in the industry, the only business you're allowed to poke your nose into is your own business. Be your own billboard. Be your own publicity. Put yourself out there. What are you doing with all the social media pages? It's not about the red carpet pictures. Sell your crafts. Put yourself out there and then i'll finalize everything right here on tv on today i'm done thank you so much myron gong do have yourself a wonderful day and take that name is like we're going to fight no 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 we'll not fight we'll not fight why would we now no 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 i'm just wishing you a wonderful day while you collect the other information concerning the other actors in fact the other actors in the movie industry or any entertainment industry that we do have in cameroon thank you and now